Hi guys, this video today will be about the difference between Skiwaza and Uchiwaza. I'm not going to go so much into each one, but show you the differences and what are those differences meaning in application. Right? Why would you use that or that? So, you know, we have, we classify karate technique into offensive and defensive technique. Right? And, and offensive technique. Uh, ski was a punchy. Right? Punchy technique. Many different. And striking technique. Uchi was a striking. Yes. And, uh, and Piate, elbow smash, elbow, elbow. That's many different angles. That's a technique we'll go in, into an, another time. But I'll tell you first the definition of punch and a strike. And from here we learn the differences. Skiwas are literally mean thrusting, like thrusting, spear, even in hitting, like in other fighting arts, hit, no hit, thrust, which implied that <coughs> come from center. And but also definition, extension of arm line is line of energy. Extension of arm line, line of energy. Extension of arm, extension of your arm line. And what does it mean? It means that at the moment of impact, my body center support the technique directly. It makes it very strong. But also it means the reaction comes directly to the center. Which means that they need a good stance. No good stance, energy can easily escape. Yes. Striking on the other hand, right, by definition, sideline of your arm is line of energy. Sideline. Sideline. Sideline of the arm. Line of energy. Which means the power is still coming from the body center, but at the moment of contact, even though there is support from the center, it's not as direct support. The reaction is sideways, which means I can even be on one leg. I can be, I can of course strike on from two legs, but even one leg. Maybe I kick in between, strike, ah, still control from the floor, but even one leg. Maybe combination. Bam, bam, oh, one leg, bam. Now, what I'm saying now is kind of general because you could also sometimes punch off one leg. Right? If you're skillful, bam, bam, punch from one leg, doable, possible, not optimal, possible. And right? striking, you don't lose a lot of power when you strike on one leg. Striking is also Hey, see the stamp action, see, hip, elbow, stamp, stamp action is faster than thrust action. Okay. Also, it's a very flexible technique. I can strike down to the side, in diagonal, this angle, right. any different way you can think of, right. down to up. So you can strike in many different Angle. Punch in too, but not as flexible. Yes? So, so striking having a little more flexibility. You can go on one leg. You can strike many times in between action. Right? When you don't want to give the opponent space to come back. Yes? Generally, striking, see, because it's a sideline, energy, I can't stop you. Energy will escape. I have to deliver the energy. In a very short instant. In a very short instant. Don't put back the My body. But total body will to go through the squeeze. Back. But make sure it's on the head. Total body movement. Yes. Punching. Of course, don't stay too long either. But no. Don't stop. Cut it. To understand how to connect your body. But, <coughs> enough to, I need to feel the peg, or the meats, 
you have to say, don't do it just as you are. Feel the center, then you can go in. Feel the center, then you can see. Feel the center. Make sure you have a good stance for both to make optimal punch technique. This is just a short comparison between and showing the difference between skiwaza punching techniques, uchiwaza, striking technique. Yes. I'll go more into details on uchiwaza and how to and also skiwaza in a different video. Please subscribe guys, help me keep this channel going. Us.